so we have no water. Thanks for waking me up, guys. Wake yourself. Dad, when are we getting a pool? Well, if I get this contract, maybe. What? This is a big contract, honey. They're all big contracts. Yeah, but I got a good feeling about this one. Jonah, go get your rugby jersey. Yes, Mum. Are you wearing that? What's wrong with this? Remember? You don't stay like savings. Are we ahead or behind? Oh. Can we take that cup out? What cup? Bye, Mom. Bye, Jonah. Dad, there's going to be a big storm. Oh, Jonah, I can't deal with this right now, mate. You can't believe everything that weather app says. Just tell your teacher you'll be fine. Bye. Jonah, I need you to be strong for me. I'll buy you ice cream. Dad, that's just your excuse to get yourself one so Mum won't find We'll both have one. After rugby practice? I'll be there. Promise? Promise. God, you gotta help me today. No traffic, please. Come on. Oh, thanks for nothing. Come on. Oh. I don't want you dating. It's not dating. You know what I mean. Why not? Because you're 14 years old. 15. I don't care. No, you can't. Sarah. Oh, am I? Daylight savings. Oh, so. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Should I come back later? No, it's fine. I just made some coffee. I got it imported from this bioorganic sustainable farm in Colombia. Oh, I just buy mine from the supermarket. <laughs> come through. <laughs> uh, would you like to try some? I'd love to. Hey, Jonah. Hey. You all right? Yeah. Footy training starts today. You sign up, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Team needs you, buddy. You see Matt in the science room? <laughs> oh, my God. And he God. set that thing on fire. Like, he has to pay for it. Oh, I can't believe he did that. <laughs> hey. Yeah. steve is having another party again soon. Cool. You gonna go? Maybe. I don't know. You should. I think he likes you. That'd be stupid. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, you really? You need to do this. How much coffee have you drunk today? <laughs> Not enough. Fine. Huh? Jimmy, did you have to give me the jam filled donut? Ain't you supposed to be on a diet anyway? Daniel, you're up. Thank you.
You know, it's going to be off the hook, mate. Bali's going to be amazing. Yeah, that was epic. Yeah, no, but... Oh, hey, John, I better call you back, mate. No, I'll see you next week. Dano? Naka, where's all the clients? Probably thought it was daylight savings. Maybe they didn't move. Daniel, take a seat. Closing down the animation department. Oh, what? Yep. I suppose it's easy to outsource things overseas now. Did you throw something at Mecca? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, cool. You'll, you'll get your severance package. No, Nick. I was freelance. Oh, of course. Sorry. Hey. Something will work out. It always does. You know what? I'm going to pray for you. A lot of good that will do. Why don't you pray he wouldn't lose his job? You know, sometimes when God closes a door... Hey, he'll... Thanks. You guys better get back in there. Yeah. You'll be fine, mate. Um, what about the jacket? I keep it. For your next job interview. Thanks. I'll be fine. Texting you. I was just getting some takeaway. Oh, cool. Uh, kids are in bed. Oh. This daylight saving thing's really thrown me out. Yeah. I'll get some plates. Okay. Hey, um, Sarah. It's just something I need to tell you first. Hey, it's not that bad. It's just that, um. I cheated on you. What? Blake. Who? My client. I've been redesigning his house. Blake? I'm sorry. That's why I was late. You were late because you were cheating on me? No, I was trying to put an end to it. I don't understand. I'm so sorry. I was going to tell you I lost my job. I suppose your news is more important. Doing. I can't believe she's done this to me. Woman! It's true! That's why I'm a bachelor of a right. Well, with the club. Daniel, Sarah stopped seeing this guy, right? What? You're taking her side. I'm just saying. It doesn't have to be over. Are you serious? You don't have to throw your marriage away. She's the one who's thrown it away. What Sarah did was 
really hurtful and really unfair. But you've got a choice. You can forgive her and make it work. I promise you that even in all of this, God's got a plan. Come on, enough of the God stuff already. Daniel, you're in a movement with me and you can be my wingman. I've got it all worked out. You can be the guy this wife just cheated on him oh, and then... I don't know. I don't know, Jimmy. Time to move on. I promise you. The best thing that you'll do is forgive her and make it work. Nice place, Jimmy. What's up with the Christmas decorations? You're a bit early. Yeah, well, I figured you know, there's no point taking them down and then putting them up every year, so I just left them up. Hey, I got you sorted for a new shirt. <laughs> Welcome to Jimmy Town. Population two bachelors. <laughs> Welcome to Freedom of Wing, man. Oh. Don't worry about it. We're bachelors now. <laughs> okay, big fella. Big job in for you today. You need a big breakfast. Bacon. This is how bachelors eat. That's how bachelors die. Ah, uh, thanks for seeing me today, guys. Wasn't exactly easy to find this place. Look, I feel I'd be great for the position. Mate, that doesn't look good. I'd go see a doctor. I just drive straight to the hospital. Not that bad, is it? Just, um, just, just go. I'm no dermatologist, but that does look like a very nasty rash. Oh. Uh, have you been stressed lately? Yeah, you'd say that. Oh. Have uh, you been exposed to raw sewage? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I need a shower. I need a shower. Hey! Hey! Hey, that's my car! S stop telling my car! Mate, mate, what are you doing? Late payment. What? What do you mean my payments are behind? Oh, are you sure? Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, really? Oh, I'm not in the bus! Oh. How you going, mate? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. No, you're not. No, no, I'm not. It's a nice cut.
Nice job being the ball, Jonah. It cost us another game. Thanks, Blues. Oh. Jonah. What happened to your face? <sighs> Long story. I thought you were going to come to rugby practice. I know. I'm sorry. You never come. How was it? Bad. Where's the car? Another long story. It's all good though. I'm sorting it out. Really? Yeah. Ice cream? Ice cream. Yeah. Uh, strawberry and vanilla. And uh, I'll just get the bubble gum. Declined. What? Card declined. You sure that's right? <sighs> Definitely declined. Oh, um, well... What about... <clears throat> uh, no, not, not this one. Um, hey, uh, do you have any... Um... Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Jana. It's okay. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Why haven't you been home lately? Just been sorting some things out. Mum's been crying a lot. Has she? Is she sick? No, it's just that... You know when you and Matthew weren't getting along and you were fighting a lot? So you stopped hanging out? Yeah, but we're friends now. Are you? Yeah, we sorted it out. Oh, that's good. I hope we sort it out with Mum soon. Jimmy, my phone's barred. I need a lift. Can you come and pick me up? So, um, how did you guys meet? Gina delivers a coffee at work. Yeah, well, we just kind of got chatting and Realised how much we had in common. Uh, both like food. Yep, yep, and cars. Oh, that's good. TV? TV, we love TV! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. See you, Jonah. See you, Jimmy. Oh, no. Oh, what in your face? You're sunburnt. <clears throat> no, it's nothing. Um, I hate to do this, but, uh, whew. Any chance you could stay somewhere else? Just for tonight? Well, it's a small apartment. Uh, yeah. I understand. Um, I'll sort something out. Oh, thanks, mate. Get up. Hello. Uh, uh, nice cup. See you, Daniel. Hi. Hi. I've been trying to call you. Yeah. Been pretty busy. What happened to your face? It's nothing. It's just stress. It's just that you're really late. Yeah, sorry. Problems with the car? Yeah, you could say that. What's this? You're selling our place? That's one of the hundred calls I've made to you. You haven't made a payment on the mortgage in months. Can't you just cover it for now? I've had to quit my job, Daniel. We're moving in with Aunt Ruth. What? Why? Because we have no income. <sighs> yeah, but I'm working on it. You've been working on it for a long time now. You took the job with MCA Media as a freelancer and you said it would make us more money. You haven't earned a cent in 12 months. Yeah, but I've been working My on it. My Ruth says you can call her. She knows people. She can help you. I'm not going to be calling anyone. I can't believe you're selling our place. My name. It's in your name. Well, that works out well for you then. What do you mean? You and Blake. It's over, Daniel. I made a terrible mistake. One that I regret more than anything. What, what, what do you want 
want me to do? Where have you been? You took my phone away so I couldn't call You're you. You're grounded. I hate you! Why did you ever say anything to her? Stop fighting! This is all your fault. I think we should get a divorce. I love this place. Why didn't he call me? I could have got a job for him. I remember he did that when we first got married. It didn't work out. The most important thing now is that the children are okay. They'll be fine. Remember, you can stay as long as you like. Thanks, Aunt Ruth. <laughs> Auntie Ruth! Oh, Jonah and the whale! Why are we packing all these boxes? Well, we're going to go stay with your Aunt Ruth for a while. She's selling the house, dummy. What? Leah, where are you going? You selling the house? Yes, well, we have to. Jonah, how about we go and buy some ice cream? No, I hate ice cream. Do you want me to? It's all right. Oh. You don't have to do this, you know. It's what he wants. Leah!
Daniel Rainwater? <laughs> okay, Nikki, I've got to go. See you, mate. Bye. Oh, what kind of work are you looking for? Um, upper management, marketing, yeah. ad agency kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, love it. Let's see what we have for you. I think I have something for you. Really? <laughs> have you ever heard of Yellow Band Sporting? Yeah, they're a huge company. <laughs> they have a cleaning position available in their warehouse. <laughs> right. Sign me up then. Yeah, this is your day. This is my day. God, what a day. Yeah, I'll just get the paperwork, yeah? Thanks for this, Nick. My pleasure. Hey, where'd you sleep last night? I've been trying to get hold of you. I think I barely slept at all last night. Oh. Well, I may have found a solution for you. Oh, I'm not going to sleep on your couch. I already did that with Jimmy. No, not my couch. I found you your own place. You kidding? No. Oh, that's great, Nick. Thanks. Okay, it's not great. Mm, that's an understatement. Well, it's either here or my couch, and my place is smaller than Jimmy's, but the couch is yours if you want it. Or there is a third option. This is great. Thanks. So what do you reckon? Oh, yeah, that's great. No, it's not much, but it does a trick. Daniel, this is Gary, my uncle. Daniel? <clears throat> Gary. Daniel. Well, if you need anything, give us a hoy. Uh, I can take you to church on Sunday if you want. Gary and I go to the same church. Oh, <clears throat> cool. You should come. Yeah, I'll think about it. Well, look, mate, I'm going to go and see this missionary talk about their time in China. You should come. I'm good. Um, how much is it? Don't worry about it. It'll work somehow. <clears throat> Thanks again. Remember, it's all part of the plan. Sitting here, I got time. It's 
clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful you and me we meant to be Where are you going all dressed up? To see my wife. You gotta need a car. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, she's great. She's a beauty, isn't she? Nice little runabout. Oh, yeah, she's good. Just bring her back in one piece. I hope this is what you want. How are you feeling? You've been in an induced coma for a few days now to protect your brain. Hello, Daniel. How are you feeling? Any pain? 
It's a miracle to see you still alive. Somehow head injuries were prevented. There has been some swelling of the brain, but no bleeding. The coma was just a precaution. That's the good news. Your leg's another story. You got totally busted up. You almost lost it. But then again, someone's looking out for you, Daniel, as we were able to save it. And with time and some physical therapy, it should be pretty much back to normal. But it will take time. I'll come back and check on you later again. Thanks, please. Your family have been by and they dropped a few things off. And I've given them a call so they're on their way soon. And Gary dropped off some mail for you. Look, if you need anything, I'll be back soon and just give me a buzz. Up here, up here, come on. Do you think you'll like my picture? Yes, yes, yes. Which way? Oh, no. Um, it's just further around up here. Just take your left up here. Oh, left. Uh, You were in a coma! Yeah, no. It's all right, Tom. It's gonna be all right. Yeah, sorry. That was just bad timing. It's okay. It's got a good time. I made this for you to draw your cartoons. Thanks, man. Can I get you some coffee? No, I'm okay. I'll get some anyway. Anything I can do for you? I'm okay. No, you're not. No, I'm not. What's going on? It's a long story. But... My husband saved. It's a miracle. But... I made... a terrible mistake. You know, forgiveness is not always about forgiving those that do us wrong. Sometimes it starts with forgiving ourselves. God forgives us, but still we hold on to the guilt. And when we do that, we can't move forward. God is doing a new thing in your life. You won't see it if you're not looking for it. But if you do, you'll stop looking back and start moving forward. Hi, mate. How are you? Oh, these lollies are from Mum. And get well soon. Jonah, Leah, I think we should let Dad get some rest. See you, Dad. Sorry, guys. Our visiting hours are over. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hey, mate. How are you going? <clears throat> yeah, good. All part of God's plan, right? Yeah, well soon, mate. I'm, I'm praying for you.
so much for bringing her back in one piece. Yeah. Sorry about that. You know, I reckon I can get her running again. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah, your mate uh, Jimmy wanted to spruce the pace up a bit. Uh, not really sure what he was getting at. It's physio, but I thought that was coming off. Last week. <clears throat> so, what's the rush? God's plan, right? Yeah, it is. You're kidding. How on earth is this God's plan? Daniel. I think you're going through a Joe Blank test. Awesome. I know. It's hard. How can you even begin to imagine what this is like? I know. Trust me, I know. But it does get easier. You know, I really don't think so. Thanks for the fruit, but I'm going to get some rest now. All right, mate. Well, Jimmy says hi, yeah? Hey, Dad, our team got into the finals. That's great, Jonah. Lee's been invited to a party, but Mum won't let her go. Shut up, Jonah. Listen to your mother. Sorry, guys, it's these pain meds I'm on. They make me a bit spacey. But it's, um, it's good about the... Mum's here. Okay, see you, well, Dad. See you later. By the way, Dad, I think you need to take a shower. You stink. How's he going? Bad. Really? He looks homeless. What? Should I go in? No! Not now, Mum.
Dad drew this. I can tell. Do you think you'll ever be okay? Yeah. Of course. I wish things were back the way they used to be. Mm, me too. Do you think they'll ever will? I hope so. Dear God, I know Dad's in a weird place right now because he's in pain over his leg. But can you help him bring him home so I can have Mum and Dad again? And can you help me score a try in the finals? Amen. Why did you have to cheat on Dad? It's a small house. Oh, sorry. We'll try and keep it down. That's not what I meant. It's my polite way of saying, I've heard what's been going on since you don't tell your aunt much anymore. Her name was Nancy. And your uncle worked with her the first year we were married. Well, into the first year. It wasn't easy. Nancy? Uncle Graham? He wasn't proud of it. But you were like the perfect couple. There's no such thing as a perfect couple. Everyone has to press through the pain and work it out. Did you? I didn't want to, but I still loved him. And so he didn't give up on me. So we did whatever it took to work it out. And we both had hope. Hope in each other and hope in our marriage. So never give up on hope. supposed to be off weeks ago. Yeah, I was kind of busy. Okay, let's do this. Oh, 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 it stinks. Oh, that's bad. What are you doing? Standing. You can't, you need physio first at least six weeks or more. Ah, I told you so. You said you were gonna get this fixed? No, mate, we, we were gonna fix it. We? When you're ready. Almost got my leg amputated, Gary. Oh, I know. But this whole thing still got some life in it yet. Talking about me or the car? When you're ready. It's not even a good car anyway.
That's not plan. Hey. Time for physio. Later. No, now. They're waiting for you. Shouldn't you be at work? Oh, got some days off. Look, you either come with me now, or you go with Gina and Jimmy later. You don't get it, do you? What? You don't know how I feel. You're just some happy, clappy Christian with no clue. I read the book of Job. Fun read. Made me even more depressed. This is why I got out of church. Because it's full of people like you. <laughs> I just insulted you. And you smile even more. You're nuts. Did you read the whole thing? Hey? The book of Job, did you read it? No. Well, if you had, you'd have seen that he gets it all back at the end, even more than he had in the first place. And you know how that happens? He wins lotto? <laughs> no. It's because he begins to thank God for his life. Yeah. Well, I don't have much to thank God for right now. You know what, Daniel? At some point in all of our lives, we have to drink from the cup. Hey? You know the story of Christ before he went to the cross. He prayed to God, if you're willing, take this cup from me. In 2013, um, my wife discovered a lump on her chest. Six months later, she was gone. Just like that. I'm sorry, I had no idea. For 12 months, I was pretty much where you are now. I had prayed every day that God would heal her, but she died. I was mad at God. I was angry at the world. I was angry at those couples whose wives didn't die, who had families, whereas I had nothing. And I reached a crossroad in my life where I realized I had to choose. I could keep going that way, I could change direction. Take this cup from me. No, I had to drink from it. You have to drink from it, like Christ had to drink from it. Job thanked God. He didn't complain, he thanked God. I realized that I had to look for the small good things in my life. and they were there. I wrote down all the ways that God had blessed me. I called it the list. I had to dig deep from inside my pain to find them, even those good times with my wife. You see, we get so caught up in the things that we don't have, the things that go wrong, the things that didn't work out, that we miss the small stuff. And that small stuff is actually the big stuff. Yes, everyone suffers in this life and some people more than others, but that's life. That's what makes life what it is. And even in that pain and suffering, there are good moments. And if you let them slip by, then you're letting life slip by. You need to learn to thank God even for the trials and tribulations, even for this. Because this, yeah, even this is part of the plan.
This is my deliverance, hands held high, as you deliver it all. You have made me a child of God, my feet on the ground, my heart in heaven. I am great made without the living all. Thank you. It was Mum's idea. Oh. Tell her I said thanks. Why don't you tell her yourself? She wants to see if you're going to come over for dinner tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, let me think about it. So, how are you two going? Good, but Lee has a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? No. Oh. Well, you are still pretty young. How old do I have to be? 40. <laughs> Who's hungry? Me. It's not pizza. Hey, wait a minute. Let's say grace. Thank you, God, for Jonah and Leah for being such great kids through all this. And thank you for my leg. And although it's broken, it's getting better. Thank you for this unit with the no air conditioning and the TV that needs a stick to operate it. And thank you, God, that even though sometimes I have no idea what's going on, you have a plan. And that plan is awesome. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope the roast is good. The oven's a bit temperamental, so I had to use Gary's oven, and it's not much better. What? Are 
You want painkillers? No, don't need them. Pain free. You seem weird. What? Thank God for the TV that needs a stick. Oh, sorry, it's this whole Job thing. I thank God no matter what. Instead of just thanking God for the good things and the good times, I thank him for all the things. Good, bad, small, big. I'll put it down on that notepad you gave me. Call it the list. Thank God I lost my job. Thank God my leg was broken in five places. This is all bad things, Dad. No, there's good things as well. Thank God for Jonah, for getting brave for every day. Thank God for Leah, for her spirit and tenacity. Mum says I have too much of that. Well, you probably do. And I'm sure you drive your mother crazy. But God's going to use that one day. It's like a superpower, right? It's used for evil. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, eat up. I have ice cream for dessert. Yes! It's not so like Grandpa's one. No, it's full of fat and sugar, so don't tell your mum. It's really nice, Dad. Really nice. Mum would like it. Yeah, I'm sure she would. Just adding this dinner to the list. Hey. Oh, hi. I'm, um... Sarah. Yeah, you must be Gary. Gary. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, you're not going in? Oh, no, I'm just here to pick up the kids. Is that...? Yep. How on earth did you get it running? Well, a bit of uh, hard work, a bit of patience, a bit of faith can fix most broken things. It's encouraging to hear. Well, Daniel helped her. Really? Mm. <laughs> hey, Gary. Hey, bud. Hi. Dad cooked a roast. He fixed a car and cooked a roast? Impressive. And we had full fat ice cream. Jonah! <laughs> Sorry, wasn't supposed to say that part. It's good to hear. Jonah. Mate. It's okay to be scared. I often get scared. Trust God even when the clouds look dark and stormy. And praise him even when you feel weak and afraid. And this time, drink from the cup. What cup? I mean, even though you feel afraid, trust God in your weakness because he can do amazing things. Really? Really. Jonah, come over here. We can do this. Yes. I know you can do it. I've been training for this. Right, Jonah, you ready? Yeah. Right, cool. On one, I want uh, blue tongues. Ready? Three, two, one. Blue, blue tongues! tongues! Yeah, let's go, boys.
the kids had a good night with you the other night. Yeah, it was nice. Cooked a roast? Yeah, I've cooked them before. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I, I just meant that... Hey, um, I've got to go. Yeah, I'm starting back at my old job. Oh, MCI Media? No. Yellow Band Sporting Goods. I clean the warehouse and one of those ride-on cleaners. That's good. Yeah, praise God I got a job, right? <laughs> so I assume you'll take Jana? Of course. Thanks. You need a lift? No, I'm good. It's nice seeing you again. What are we doing here? I need to get something. Mum, you can't. The house is sold. It's called trespassing. I know. I just need to get something. Honk the horn if anyone comes. What's going on? Did you find him? What's going on? I'm sure we'll be around somewhere. Never give up hope. What are you doing? Saving my marriage. Let's go. Where do you go from there? Well, I don't know. It's all part of the journey. Could be a disaster. <laughs> Maybe you can help me there. Hey, Dan, can you give me a hand with this? Yeah, sure. Felix Media, Ultimo Sydney. Yeah, it's an urgent order for this new American client. Thanks, mate. Uh, hey, Beth. What? Uh, could I use the computer for a second? Once this is finished, you're done. Yeah. Oh, nuts! Come on. Time's up. <sighs> Come on, you cheeky rat bag. Ow. When's the 3rd of October? Tomorrow. What? <sighs> oh, here we go, mate. Thanks, Gary. For you. Uh, so does that get internet? Sure does. All right. I'll, um, I'll go get the scanner. Right. Found that on the side of the road. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it work. Thanks for coming, guys. I think I need your help. What is it? Oh, they're the one that makes those cool movies. Yeah, and they've got an open pitch interview tomorrow morning at 9am. 
What are you going to pitch to them? I don't know. What about this? I was thinking of a big, fat, chubby koala that's eaten too much eucalyptus. Ah, cool. How old is that? I think I've got it to work. Great. I was hoping this would look hip, cool and professional. Got you a suit. 20 bucks from Vinny's. Thanks a lot. Hey, uh, where's Gina? Oh, she dumped me. Sorry, mate. So, Jimmy's coming to China with me. China? It's a mission trip. Oh, yeah, well, that's what he calls it, but it's really a holiday. There's a little orphanage that Samantha and I wanted to check out, so we're going to go and help out. Hey, that's really good. And MCA is closed down. Yeah, Mark stuffed it up with the clients and so it's done. You're kidding. God's plan, right? Yes, God's plan. Oh, come on. You'll see. Oh, I can hardly wait. Hey. This is great. Oh, hey. <laughs> Water, mate. Looks good, Dad. Thanks for your help, eh? You'll get the job. Yeah. And then you can get the pool. Yeah, maybe. Your mum will be here in half an hour to pick you up, huh? Uh-huh. Bye, Dad. Bye. Looking good, mate. Thanks. Need a car? Yeah. Oi. Plug it in here. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Come on. Nothing. No. It's done. What? Yeah, I used to fix these. They stopped selling them years ago because the motherboard fries up. The batteries were too hot. You still got the information off that, yeah? No, it's dead. You backed it up, right? No. Oh, well, sorry, man. It kind of stinks. Yeah. Let's get the wrong from home. Nothing. What's the point? There's no plan. It's over. Um, I'm here for the pitch meeting. You're a bit late. Daylight savings. Oh. Sir, sir, the pitch session is over, sir. Sir, you can't go in there. Uh, hi. Um, I'm here to pitch. Sorry, he just took off. Sorry, the pitch meeting is over. Please, just, just give me a few minutes of your time. Sure. My laptop's dead, so, um... Look, 
What's your name, sorry? Daniel. Daniel Rainwater. Daniel, look, we're in the middle of a business meeting. Yeah, sorry. Um... Maybe just tell us your pitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, it's this uh, big, fat, chubby koala. And, um, well, yeah, he's really fat. Uh, yeah, he's, um, yeah, look, um, sorry, um, I've wasted your time. Um, so that's it? You're done? No, no, uh, not yet. Look, um, see, it's this uh, story based on Job, you know, from the Bible. Uh, it's a cartoon series, and uh, it's about an everyday family. But uh, all these Job-like calamities happen to the dad um, every day. that seem to set him back. But um, he remains optimistic, and he fights through. Lessons learned, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, based on your life? Yeah, um... That's the plan. Cool. Can I keep this? Sure. Okay. Sorry, Tom, the LA conference call is on now. Thanks. Well, gotta go. I like your tenacity, um, but I'll be honest with you, we had a lot of great pitches today. Yeah. But yours was the most heartfelt. Price God. Price God. Dan! Oh, hey. Thought I saw you before. Yeah, sorry. Well, you ordered the wrong basketball. <laughs> hey, you don't know how to break into a car, do you? Yeah, come on. Okay, God. I'm starting to get it. It's all part of your plan. Papers. Really? I thought that's what you wanted. No, I thought that's what you wanted. I never did. I suppose communication isn't a strong point. But we can work on it? Yeah, we can work on it. Oh, my timing's terrible. <laughs> it's Leah. Leah? Where are you? guy anyway that she's seeing? I don't know. She's not supposed to be seeing anyone. She's been grounded for weeks. She should be at home looking after Jonah. Hey, 
Get out of my house, old man. You're crazy. Thanks, Dad. It's okay. I'm sorry. Hello, Daniel speaking. Who? Tom from Felix Media. Oh, yeah, hi. Yeah, I get it. Get it? The jog test. I've been through it myself. Battle bankruptcy and leukemia all at the same time. It wasn't fun. But I realized I had to keep going. You know, because even like Job's life, there is a happy ending. Yeah. Great. See you here Monday, 9 a.m. Oh, r really? Daniel. Yes? Try not to turn up soaking wet. <laughs> well, I can't promise you anything, but I'll be there. See ya. What's this? It's just a little something. I was missing that old cop rambling around. The enemy's defeat